Hello Virgo and welcome to your August reading. So what was I drawn to for you? Because I've been picking out intuitively um, some certain symbols and crystals and things. And for you, I felt drawn to this little dream catcher pendant here. So, and the key. So perhaps there's some, oops, now I'm dropping it. That's what happens when you start playing with things, isn't it, Virgo? Right? And it's almost like I want to try and put it in order. So I feel like for you in August, you're trying to put your dreams in order or you're working on getting your life in order or some situation or your household in order. Um, and also there's something about key to your dreams. There's some key to your dreams, all right? But we're going to get some more information. All right. Let's have a look, please, Spirit. For Virgo for 20, 2021, <laughs> August 2021. What is the main theme, please? Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups. And what was I talking about? Getting your home in Augur? order? Order? Augur. <laughs> it's an interesting way of putting it. Augur. Sorry, my speech. <laughs> and I, I'm just like, unlike the other groups, I'm just like giggling and making silly jokes and speaking really weird. So <laughs> I'm not saying you're weird, okay? I, I feel like there's, you're going to be really happy, giggly, childlike energy. Um, you might be spending time with children or someone else's children. You don't have to be. But there's playful energy here, okay, in the month of August. Lots of laughter and jokes and good time. Um, perhaps you're spending some good time with your family in the month of August um, and having some good times here. Yeah, I'm seeing some of you cleaning, cleaning, cleaning up the home and it's refreshing the energy in your home, all right? Um, yeah. I'm also hearing for some of you putting order into the chaos. I'm really getting like um, matriarchal sort of energy here, but I feel like like I'm not... Like, I'm still learning about astrology, but I think Virgo has that energy from memory. All right. Um, that's sort of what I'm getting. It's almost like I'm getting this energy of getting everything, everything into order, almost like a spring clean. So you could put that into different areas of your life. This could be at home. This could be family. This could be people. This could be spring cleaning your emotions. It could be anything. So take it where it resonates. All right. All right, we have here the Ace of Pentacles. No wonder you're happy. I'm just feeling this is probably the best group yet for August. Well done, Virgo. Eight of Wands. Whoa. Ha <laughs> ha. We have here the Emperor. Oh, what was I saying? Order. Order, order, order. Happiness because there is a new beginning here. There is something material. There is something being offered here, new beginning being offered in August for you, Virgo. And it's going to bring a lot of happiness and joy for you. Energy is moving really, really quickly. Right? Some of you may be traveling with your family. Right? You may have gotten an opportunity to travel with your family. Um, or you're going to be celebrating this new job or new situation with your family. Um, yeah, but I do see energy. It's, up, it's like the gate is opened or the doorway has opened. Yeah, a lot of joy here for you. It's like a little horse in the background. Yeah, action, movement. The delays are over. If you've been experiencing any delays, Virgo, because that's coming into my mind. We have the Queen of Swords, all right? Some of you are clearing out the closets in your life, whether, as I said, this could be people, this could be your own stuff, this could be something else that you're getting into order in your life. Order amongst the chaos, cutting things out with the Queen of Swords here, getting to the truth. Beautiful energy, yeah. For some of you, you may be making a decision about something and you finally made it. You finally made it and it's like, woo! something's it's like the energy is moving forwards for you so and if you are sort of like and I don't feel like this is for a lot of you because I'm not going to pull this out 
Um, but if you are trying to make a decision about something, you're not so sure whether to take this opportunity or not. Um, I feel like with the Queen of Swords, it's like, you know the truth. You know what's best decision for you. And it's like, make that decision, Virgo. Make it. Um, and I have to say, from my feeling, from the cards that I'm seeing, the key to your dreams, the movement of energy, the Ten of Cups, this opportunity, I feel. But remember to trust your own intuition here because it's general reading. And always trust your own intuition, even if you have a private reading with anyone, Virgo. Always trust your own, own self, okay? Um, that's just a bit of my advice. I'm trying to... See, I'm even trying to straighten out here the cards for you and the, the, the vision of the camera because it just feels like it's not getting in order. So, you know, you're straightening things out here and perhaps this opportunity is going to straighten things out for you. All right? But making... Just making that choice is going to be very helpful for you. Whoa! And what I was saying was, yeah, I feel with the cards and everything that this is going to be a good choice for you. Now I've got everything dropping. Cards are dropping. <laughs> and perhaps that's what's happening. Opportunities dropping in, right? The cards... The cards are being laid out for you, Virgo. Let's see what dropped in this box. This is from the Shadows and Light deck. Interesting. Okay. There's no mistakes, Virgo. No mistakes. The wheel. Look at that. The wheel of fortune. The fates are changing and aligning here for you. There's destiny here for you. There's a turning, a change of events. And it's going to bring order in for you. Really interesting. Because it fell into that um, box, I'm going to get those cards. What messages do you have for Virgo? I'm really even speaking differently. <laughs> I, I, I just, just, it's just interesting energy. All right, we see you see clearly clairvoyance. What was I saying? You know, you know, Virgo, you know what to do, right? I get this real like cut to the chase energy, cut the crap, just get straight to it. Like, I don't know, I'm just getting that real sort of firm energy. I don't know if this is you, um, if you're sort of someone who, um, like if you're a parent and you're just like helping your children with this, um, or whether this is just you, like it's just like this energy of your soul just saying, come on, you see it, know it, take it, do it, go for it. Yeah? And anything that's not in line with that, back off. You're cleaning it out. You're cleaning the closet. You're like, yep, order amongst the chaos here, Virgo. Back off. Anyone, anything that's not in alignment with that. Wow. Powerful reading. Powerful for you. Like, I feel the energy. Okay, so we've also got here Love and Strange. All right, so this opportunity, Virgo, could be a love situation. All right, and Love is Strange also talks about this situation, this love could be somebody who's different to what you had imagined. Right? Could be why there's that decision making process, but you're going to know. You're going to know that this is right for you. I want to say this is not love. This is talking about this opportunity feels strange for you. Okay, it feels strange. Um, but just because it feels strange doesn't mean it is strange. It's just usually it feels strange because it's a different energy to what you're comfortable. All right, and change is uh, often uncomfortable. But as I said, it's going to open the gateways as a key here. The keys unlocking to your dreams, Virgo. The dream we've got here holding on way too tightly, strangely lonely. All right, I think I said delays are over. So, for some of you, you've been holding on here for quite some time, right? But that is opening now, and it's through you making decisions here, it's through you cleaning out the closets in your life, and it's through you. You're changing, you're moving that wheel, Virgo. 
remember our own power we all have it and you're moving that wheel and you know this opportunity that seems strange is just strange because it's out of your comfort zone all right so be open virgo to changing the way that you think about something or the way that you see something in virgo in virgo <laughs> in august all right virgo Make sure you're seeing things clearly. Open your open your mind here. All right. Look at this. Oh my goodness! I can't make this stuff up. On the back of the deck, calm amid the chaos. What did I say? Order amongst the chaos. <laughs> it's like confirmation. Calm amidst the chaos. Right. Wow. Always surprises me, even though I work with spirit. A lot every day always amazes me all right there we go well that's just a lot of cards I'm not gonna pick all of them whoa there's a lot of cards I guess I said all the cards are out for you Virgo like they're all being lined out for you I've got to move this back I'm sorry guys let me pause this there we go <laughs> See, we're getting everything into alignment today, aren't we? And maybe we can move these back a little bit. I'm sure this is your energy because I'm not this fussy. I really am not this fussy. I think Virgo is a perfectionist, right? <laughs> there we go. Making sure everything is just right. Oh my God, look at that. I don't think that's going to do well for my desk. Whoops. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to add that there's some strange occurrences happening with your reading. So perhaps in August there may be some really strange occurrences that are taking place. All right. Um, so just be aware of that. Okay, we've got here, channel your knowledge, critical judgment. Exactly what I was saying here. Um, yes, yeah, something spills. Oh my God, look. What am I saying? Strange occurrences, strange Valentine, strangely lonely. Something feels different to you. Something feels strange. But you need critical judgment here. Sometimes it feels strange because it is not what we're used to. Right? Saying that this is a, a new person that comes in that you've been dreaming of. They may not be exactly the way that you thought they would look or the way that you thought that they would be or into the same things as you or it doesn't even have to be that way it's just something about their energy or the type of person that you normally go for they may be different so you may be sort of mm, i'm not sure about that i mean this is just an example it could be to take this that example to anywhere in your life so that's why spirit's saying here just really you know get to the truth of it here see it clearly for some of you as well with the channel your knowledge some of you could be channelers okay of energy I believe we're all channelers of energy each and every one of us um, I just want to point that out there uh, each and every one of us a channel of energy so where can you channel your knowledge your wisdom your understanding here We've got lead the way, light your own path. Well, I didn't even see that. So we've got lead the way. We've got channel your knowledge, right? Lead the way, Virgo. Light your own path. Do your own thing. And anything that's not in that alignment with that or people who don't want to agree with that, Virgo, back off. I feel like I'm really like this energy of matter of fact and kind of like sharpness here. I kind of feel like that. That Queen of Swords energy, I sometimes feel like that with the Queen of Swords. It's like, let's get to the truth, like the sort of truth here. Let's just cut the crap and get to the truth of the matter here. And that's sort of what I'm getting that vibe with you for some reason. And on the back of that deck, it says shield your energy, right, with the frog. Look beneath the surface. So look beneath the surface of what's occurring and shield yourself. Lead the way. We've also got on the back here meditation they wanted me to point out. Okay, any other messages, please? Yes, let's get some from here. 
other messages for August, please. We have the sun. Plans that work out perfectly. Amazing ideas that lead to rewards and com commendations. Gratitude for the blessings of in life. So as I said at the beginning of this reading, it seems to be really happy occurrences happening here for you. And what it seems like perhaps at the beginning, when you start this opportunity, whatever it is for you that comes in, there may be this adjustment period for you, Virgo. But once you go for it, it's just, you, there's so much beautiful energy, so much happiness here. I have to point this out too, that I am feeling this resistance in my heart. So for some of you, if this is a love situation, like I'm feeling you're really resisting this love and it may be because maybe you've been heartbroken or you know, some sort of experience or maybe this person reminds you of somebody who from the past and you're sort of blocking them in some way. That's sort of what I'm feeling here. But this person with the Ten of Cups is for you, all right? That's what I'm seeing here. Um, but acknowledge those feelings within you, but see the truth. Right, because um, especially if you've been healing um, and gaining a lot of wisdom and knowledge about your past relationships, you know, people in your future are not going to be that your past, you know, or anyone, anyone that comes into our lives, they're not the past person. But I know, I understand certain people's behaviors, body language, the way they look can trigger something. So if that's happening, have a look at that and see it, acknowledge it within you and love it and release it, Virgo, okay? Because I see this being very positive. We have the Emperor. We've got the Emperor twice. Use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized, a firm but compassionate leader. This could be somebody who is an Emperor that you are... Um, coming into union with right and it may not be the sort of person that you're used to uh, because they could be somebody who's quite logical um quite firm um outspoken maybe um so that, i'm just throwing that out there that could be who you're attracting here with the emperor energy but also this could talk about you being this emperor energy because remember I'm saying like there's sort of this energy here that's kind of like really cutthroat like it's kind of like yeah and we've got leadership so this could be you um, being called into this leadership position in some way and you have the knowledge for this you have the wisdom for this And that look beneath the surface, you know, that goes back to what I was saying here. Whatever this, you know, as I said, this is not love for everyone, for a majority of you. I feel like this is just, a, this is some sort of opportunity. And, you know, there's something you're like holding on, you're resisting just because it's different. It's out of your comfort zone. So look at that. Look at the beneath that. And then acknowledge that release it and lead the way here because it's really positive and you have all the ability and skill to do this we have here for winter i want to point out as well another message for some of you <clears throat> with the two emperor energies the order means the chaos this is you taking charge you taking charge. Some of you may be leaders in an organization of some sort um, or a group of some sort. And you're t and perhaps this is some things that are going on around you with the people. And you've got to take charge here. You've got to step up and take charge. Set aside your concerns for now. You can make a decision later. Solutions that come from meditation, the need for more sleep or a vacation. So maybe an opportunity for you to have some rest for, for some um vacation time so spirits urging you to do that because that will help you to reflect to um really get to the bottom of something here and an understanding here august 2021 whoa 
drawing on the ground. We have the two of autumn. Bring fun into everything you do, juggling multiple priorities or jobs. An exception talent for multitasking, yeah. So as I said, so you, some of you leaders here leading other people. You might be delegating a lot of tasks, all right. <clears throat> I'm like, have to clear my throat, right? You might be trying to, doing a lot of public speaking or talking. I'm just getting different messages, guys, so please just take it where it resonates, okay? Into your situation. And look at the trumpet here. So for others of you, this is just you. Order amongst the chaos, right? We're saying that there's a lot going on for you in August. Um, and you're getting you're getting things together. Do it in a fun way. Don't don't exhaust yourself. We have strength. The grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges, the power of kindness and forgiveness, time to embrace how wonderful you are. Okay? So you are wonderfully strong. You have a wonderful leadership ability here. That's come through very strongly. And if this is not you and somebody who's come into your life, who's this leader? Right? Then, you know, this... You are, um, you match them, you mirror them. And you do have that strength. It's just the way that they present it is different to the way that you present it. Thank you, Spirit, for clarifying that. All right, Archangel Michael messages, please. Virgo. All right, we have your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. Exactly what I was saying here. Please help me clearly hear, see, feel, and know the divine guidance that I have asked and prayed for. Allow me to keep my ego out of the way so that your wisdom can come streaming through me for my own benefit and for those around me, right? As I said, for some of you, you're leading a group of people here. So trust that what your, your um, inner guidance and what you feel that you're guiding here trust in that detach from the situation archangel michael i ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama so i may be centered in the knowingness that that peace is everywhere within me and this situation and your home is protected by angels archangel michael thank you for watching over my home and its inhabitants I ask that you post guardian angels at each window and door, ensuring its security. Thank you for guiding my finances so I have easily afford to pay my mortgage tax. And so you may be doing taxes in August. You may be, there may be some sort of focus around finances here. Um, it'll be different for everyone. I'm just feeling there's one more. And they're saying explore your options. Okay, dear God, thank you for wisdom and love. Help me see and understand and assess all of my inter alternative options. Please guide me the best direction for my health, happiness, and life purpose. And, you know, as I said, like order in your life, this is, I feel for you, is not just one thing. It's like there's different areas that you're sort of getting into order in your life or different people or your home, as I was saying. Okay, so explore your options and how you can do this. All right, let's get Angels of Abundance and then we'll get your um, charms. All right, do the work. It's not enough to dream or pray. You've also got to take the positive action steps that you're being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. Com cooperation instead of competition. Okay, um, what's, it's interesting. It must be the collective energy in August because it's come up twice now. What's yours is yours and no one can take it from you. There's no need to compete and there's an abundance for all. You have complete access to unlimited abundance for yourself and to share with others. With cooperative partnerships, you can accomplish anything. And for those of you who are leading, all right, you, you, are, you are delegating that um, cooperation with other people. You are um, bringing order to other people around you. Because I'm, I'm seeing that so strongly for someone here. It's like I'm getting visuals of just you delegating and 
um, diffusing situations and goodness, I'm just seeing it. So make sure you get rest and look after yourself, Virgo, if that's you. And then we've got here taking a divinely guided change or positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk and you're ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories as you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar but no longer appropriate for you make room for new so look there we go last card here today and it's um pretty much what i've been saying all through this that something feels strange to you this new opportunity feels strange but it's divinely guided and you've got the wheel of fortune here so it's part of your destiny so really see beyond any um fears or any um yeah, pretty much the fears there, okay? So, because it's uncut, it's strange because it's different. All right, so let me get your uh, charms now. Okay, let's look at your charms, Virgo. So, August, any other messages, please? Okay, so we've got, yeah, we've got the busy bee charm here let's go zoom in a little further so we've got the busy bee so you're going to be a busy busy bee we've got lots of chatter we've got news that's coming in as well and i'm hearing news of pregnancy okay so that could be from someone close to you we have here the little cat um we have a car so there may be some short trips of travel you may be taking a holiday, as I said, or a family or road trip. We have here the turtle. So slow and steady, okay, with the turtle. We have here the elephants, family, community. I'm hearing trust with the cat as well. Um, and listen to your instincts, all right, about people, about environments, Virgo. You're very good at that, is what I'm hearing. So trust in those instincts. We have here the turtle again. So very, very um, strong message here about pacing yourself, right? Pacing yourself in August. I choose strength is the message here. We have a little bell. It's timing. Take that chance. We have your guardian angel here that's guiding the way, it's helping you and, and helping you to open your heart to receive. This could be receive love, receive this opportunity. We have here this autumn leaf. This is saying let go of the old, move it on. Um, security, something secure and stable here is, is, um, is taking place here in August. We've also got this, so we've got the um, cross here. And we've got the moon and the little cat as well on the moon here. So, yeah, I'm just going to, I'm going to really tune into that a little more. I'm going to look at these because they come together. So there's a reason for that. And I'm just seeing like, I'm seeing the dark sky and I'm seeing the new moon. So perhaps it could be something around the new moon that's beginning here. Or there could be some sort of sacrifice around the new moon, I want to say, with the cross. Um, or there could be an understanding with the moon. Now, whether this is new moon or full moon, there could be some sort of understanding that you're going to become aware of. Because we, I said, listen to your instincts here. So there may be some divine guidance coming through. And we have the key, right? As I said, key to your dreams here. That's what is happening. And we have here the heart chakra. So yeah, for some of you, this is love. And this is also open your heart to the experiences and to this new beginning. That is your messages. Thank you so much for watching. If this resonated for you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Much love. Bye for now.